I'd like to share with you one of my favorite apps for students who struggle with reading at grade level. Uh, accessing grade level content is so important for so many of our students and sometimes they depend on adults reading to them, which is never a good choice when we are trying to promote independence with struggling readers. So explore Voice Dream Reader. It really is a dream app. Let me show you some of the features. One of the things that you can do, you'll notice at the bottom there's the settings feature. And what you can do is it will link with your Dropbox, Google Drive, Pocket, Instapaper, Evernote, and your Bookshare account. Bookshare, just for those of you who are unaware of it, is a free resource for students with qualifying print disabilities. So that's another whole workshop just to explain about Bookshare, but just take my word for it. Explore it further if you do have students who have qualifying print disabilities. What we'll do now is we will go into the plus and we will notice now I can bring in any of these documents. I can also go, go to the web and here I'm picking out a an article from today's Boston Globe. What I'm going to do is go into Smart Save. Just like that, I'm on a website. I'm extracting the text. The web page is saved. I'll say done. And there it is, right at the top. So now I can select it, and it opens right up for me. And this is how we can adjust our, um, the lots of choices. I actually will get out of that particular article. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to work with. And we'll go into this Animal Farm article, which I grabbed from the Schmoop website. So again, we're going to go up and see what setting options we have. I've got, I've got font size changes. I can go all the way up to 70 and all the way down to 13, but I'll keep it at about 32. We have font, eight different font choices, really phenomenal. So I always ask students to just touch each, each choice until they find the one that works best for them. And I've had students choose every single one of those fonts. So it's really wonderful that the developer, Winston Chen, has given us so many font choices. Once we select our font and our font size, then we'll go into um, adjusting the voice settings and we can adjust the rate of speed. The Heather voice by default is automatically um, your option. Otherwise, you can purchase additional font, uh, additional voices. And there are... 23 different English voices. Some of them are fun, like Queen Elizabeth. And so there are lots of nice choices. You can pay extra for additional voices. So it is nice that that is an option as well. So I can just hit the read button and it will automatically start reading or I can double tap and it will start right from there. And it does automatically scroll. You also, let's say we want to touch the word proletariat. And we, I didn't, what I want to do is show you that now the new options that arise. So we can now define it, we can highlight it, we can add a note, or we can bookmark that that's where we left off. So I am going to highlight the word proletariat. And I'm also going to add a note. So as a teacher, I could say, uh, I could give an embed and prompt there. I could embed a, an easier definition. I could embed um, a variety of different choices here. And I'm just going to just type some random letters just to show you what it will look like. And we'll say done. So now you'll notice I have, it shows what I've highlighted, but it also adds this, which tells me that there's a note there. So I will touch the note, and there's my note. The other option, too, is we can go down here to the bookmark, to the book, open book, and it shows all the places that we have highlighted and all the places that we have bookmarked. So here are all my highlights. I can touch the word young, and it automatically takes us right to that word. I can select this and it automatically takes me to that place, which is really phenomenal. The other really cool thing is if we go up here to the top, 
with that arrow, we can now export the text. We can export the highlights. We can open it in Safari. So that ability to export highlights can be a very powerful option for us. There are many, many choices. One of the things that the developer recently added is the ability to go to pages. So if you're in a book from Bookshare, it will now take you to the different pages. This isn't a book, so that choice isn't available. But if I open up a book, here's a book, The Giver, and, oh, I think this was downloaded before they added that capability. So I just wanted you to see that option as well. Lots of really wonderful choices here. Um, it also does show you how long it is depending, and this adjusts depending on the rate of speed. So for example, if I change the rate of speed to a faster speed or to a slower speed, and again, let students decide what the speed work that works best for them. Then, and we say yes. So now it should also, well, maybe because I'm recording it, it does also um, change the rate here as well. Yeah, see how I... So see how it now changed it to five hours because I slowed down the rate of speed. So those are some of the wonderful, wonderful features of VoiceDream, a dream app that you really do need to show all of your students with print disabilities. Hope you found this helpful.